Hello, and welcome to another episode of Breadcast Gaming Talk. A lot of people who know me and know that I like a good FPS game all recommended to me that I play Titanfall 2. While they wanted me to play the multiplayer because it apparently is really good compared to like Call of Duty Black Ops games and the other futuristic Call of Duty games. But I got Titanfall 2 because I was curious about the campaign and that's what I played, not the multiplayer. So, what did I think of Titanfall 2's campaign? I had a good amount of fun playing this campaign. It reminded me of the first time that I played the campaign for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It took me to get the hang of the wall running and double jumping, and I can say that I did fail a lot of the advanced movement stuff during the campaign. Just getting the right timing would take me a few tries, and then they would add having to shoot panels to make walls or floors pop up so you can use them sometimes. It got a little bit much for me, but that's a me thing, not something that the game did good or bad. Titanfall 2 does have advanced movement, very well done if you ask me. The guns for the pilot all feel good, there's a good variety of projectile weapons and some energy based weapons, but not in the same way that a game like Halo does energy weapons. There were even some small things I noticed, like one of the sniper rifles where when you shoot an enemy that is far away, the shot actually takes a while, or not a while, but it takes a second to hit. It's a small thing, but it's things like that that add to the game to make it that much better. The weapons all shoot good, the reload animations are smooth, and they look good. I don't know what else to say about the weapons. The enemies don't seem to be very smart, but maybe that's because I played on easy. Like, they would get bunched up in one area if they were running around trying to find me. Like, they would all show up in one spot, which makes them easier targets. The addition of robot enemies makes things interesting, too. The robots have no problem just charging up to where you are, even if they have to wall run or climb up to get you. They'll just get you. <laughs> They're pretty bullet spongy, too, as you have to use a lot of ammo on them, because, like, they could go down but then they'll crawl after you if they, if you hadn't killed them enough. That's weird. But it's a nice touch. Then there's the Titan that you get, and the Titans you have to fight. So the Titan you get is BT, and for a mecha, it has more personality than some of the characters in an Elder Scrolls game. The talking that goes on back and forth between you, the pilot, and BT, the Titan, it's really well written and is sometimes humorous. Now, getting to pilot BT is where the fun gets amplified. As you play the campaign, you unlock new loadouts for BT. This will get you a new main weapon, a shoulder mounted weapon, and some sort of utility thing. You also have a certain core that will give you big damage output for a short period of time. I won't go over all the loadouts, but my favorite until the last part of the campaign was the Ion loadout. You get an energy rifle, shoulder mounted laser, and some tripwire as the utility. The core is a laser core that shoots a big laser and it's awesome. The last loadout is my favorite though, the Legion loadout. It gives you a big and powerful Gatling gun and I love it. The thing I really like about piloting a Titan is that it's actually not a power trip. You're not like this invincible thing that no one can kill. You still have to strategize to keep alive. Like there's a balance with the Titan not being overpowered at all that can kill anything and absorb damage like a tank. Sure, you're more protected in the Titan, but you're not invincible. The enemy titans are just based on the titan loadouts that you can use and you can switch between loadouts whenever you want. This game is a really well made shooter. The balance in the gameplay between enemies and the titans is done extremely well and I would really recommend playing this game. If you have played a lot of Call of Duty games with advanced movement, I think this game does it better. Titanfall 2 is a lot of fun. The story part of the campaign is pretty average, but the mechanics of the game make it worthwhile to play through at least once. That's all I have to say, so if you're out of the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.